conditions in this province in high demand trades through your artificially high apprenticeship ratios. Ontario is one of the only jurisdictions in North America where you need three qualified electricians just to train one apprentice. If your government would agree to change the ratio so that one electrician could supervise and train one apprentice, then thousands of new apprentice positions would open up in the province, creating thousands of jobs. Almost on a daily basis, there's contractors that have to turn away apprentices because they cannot take them on because of the high apprenticeship to journeyman ratios and they're forced to turn them away. And these young people are going to BC and Alberta where the apprenticeship ratios are one to one. One electrician training one apprentice. You promised to look at this issue when I raised it, my colleagues raised it before. Question. What have you done? Will you agree today to lower the apprenticeship ratios to a one to one? Good question. I'm here. Speaking of the Minister of Training College and Universities. Minister of Training College and Universities. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the member for his question. I want to thank the member for his interest in terms of skilled trades and apprenticeships. I'm very proud of our government's record. In our first term in office, we were able to increase apprenticeship ratios by 25 percent, and we're on track to see a further increase of 25 percent over the course of this term. As the member knows, the member raised the issue of ratios. As he knows, we look to industry for the best advice on how to set ratios. But at the same time, Mr. Speaker, I agree with the honourable member. I think all members agree that we need to reform our apprenticeship system. And I was very pleased several days ago Ago to announce our government's intention to move forward with a College of Skilled Trades, a self-regulatory body. A body similar in nature to the College of Physicians and Surgeons, the College of Teachers, That's which is leadership. going to model. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, again, to the uh, Premier, Mr. Speaker, um, even members of your own Liberal Caucus, Premier. Uh, agree that things need to be changed, that the ratios need to be changed. I have a letter here dated June 2, 2008, from the member from Northumberland, Quinty West, sent to the Minister of Training, Colleges and University, that says, and I quote, Minister, during the annual meeting of the Ontario Electrical League, your colleague, then the Minister of Energy, the Honourable Dwight Duncan, in his address, clearly indicated that a change must be made to these ratios. This is a matter that is very seriously needs addressing, end of quote. Premier, this issue isn't about safety. That's one of the excuses we often get from your government because, as I said, in Alberta and B.C., they have one-to-one -one ratios, and that's Premiers Campbell and Stelmach, and surely you're not accusing them uh, of not caring about safety. Changing the ratios will cost the government nothing. All you have to do is change the regulations. No new spending, no new programs, no new bureaucracy. Minister, Premier, why won't you do it? Or perhaps the question should be, who in the heck are you protecting, and why aren't you going to the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities? Yes, sir. Mr. Speaker, I think all people who look at the apprenticeship system can identify many areas where we, uh, we need to, to take a fresh look, which is why we're very, very excited at moving forward with the College of Skilled Trades, which is going to be an opportunity for all those involved in the industry to move forward. In the interim, we continue to work with the industry on the issue of, uh, of ratios and a variety of issues, but I'd like to share, with, since a member raises the issue of electrical apprentices, I'd like to share some statistics with them. <coughs> New registrations in that field. We're talking about the field of electricians have increased by 32 percent since 2003. Completion has increased 151 percent since 2003. The numbers of active apprentices have increased 20 percent since 2003. As I've told this House before, Mr. Speaker, we continue to work with the industry in all areas on the issue of ratios. Since 2005, we've seen changes to five areas. Thank you. New question. The